Okay, I thought I'd do a inbox review of Academy's F-22 148 scale aircraft. There's the box art which uh, really drew me in with the Sidewinder missile coming out of the, the sideways bay here. Um, yeah, so the way I'm going to do this review is I'll do a traditional, let's have a look through the sprues, blah blah blah, read the instructions, look at the decals and so forth. Uh, I'll point out some of the things that I'm wanting to do in the build and maybe I might point out some, some features that I like and I don't like in the kit. And then the second part, I'm actually going to put it together um, and let's see how well it's fit and how, it engin how it's engineered. I won't glue it, we'll just use some tape and things um, just to give me a preview of how it's going to go. And then the last part, I'll go over another kit that's the 172 scale Italeri version of this, which I've, I've already built. Uh, and I'm using it as a paint meal because one of the most uh, challenging things with this build is going to be the paint scheme uh, with the slight satin metallic effect and the weathering that the F-22 seem to endure uh, as they go along. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, pretty box art. What's in the box? Let's not start with the instructions. That's how the top half of the fuselage comes. It comes in a, in a cardboard sort of thing. It sort of slots out like this. Overall, I would have to say the quality is not too bad. Um, there's some fine detail there in the upper fuselage. There's some mesh in some of these panels. Which I think is covered by a photo etch. We've got some nice fine recessed details. The gun bay looks okay. There is a hint of flash around some of the leading edges here and I can see some of the wingtips. The sprue gates look to be in uh, not bad positions especially at the back here where the, um, the tail plane is going to go. Uh, that's a fairly straight one there. That's a so that's all right. The wing wing tips, well, the wing tips don't have sprue gates. They just there to support it. And the nose has a slight one, but it's on the edge, so that should be easy to to get rid of. So so far, engineering wise, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm not seeing any obvious flaws. Underside, we've got a little bit of wheel bay detail and plumbing already put in there, which I don't care for. I don't care about wheel bays. Um, yeah, we've got some slots here for the uh, aerolons that look okay. Some pretty good, pretty hefty locator pins. So in part two, I'll put these two together and see if they um, if they match up. So let's look at the bottom next. So here's the bottom again, protected all the way around by a sprue. The detail looks pretty good. We've got a few little recessed panels and and some some mesh there that's not too bad uh, details a little bit soft on the outside flaps which that's not too bad um, all the the weapon bays are, are open and the wheel wells so obviously this panel is going to go there all the edging is nice and crisp but there is a little bit of burring here on this panel don't know if you can see that just my camera zoom in some it's okay but it's not not perfect again sprue gates these two aren't too bad here this one's on the edge that's okay and again at the tail plane so that's not too bad for cleanup wise inside let's have a look yeah some pretty hefty locator pins so that should help I like how the nose cone is connected to here in one piece that should just clamshell down no problem with alignment um, okay, so so far not too bad, but you know, we've got to put it together first, who, who cares what it looks like, just like that, so you know, we, we'll put it together and see what happens. Okay, let's quickly run through the sprues. First of all, they give you two clear sprues. I haven't got them out of the bags, I want to protect them. They're identical. This one gives you a smoky gold sort of effect. Which you only really need for the canopy because you'll the other parts for the head-up display 
and I assume there's a landing lights and so forth will be in clear so what's good about this is if that's not satisfactory for the gold sort of effect that the, the canopy has I can experiment with this one and paint one so see how that goes okay now this, the sprue is actually quite large I mean that's A3 size sort of sprues for some big parts now, I don't know if you can see down the, the bottom here, but what I do is I put a piece of tape around the sprue in that sprue D because, you know, most companies, I mean, I can't find, where does it say D? There it is, D. You know, I don't want to do that, I just see that, and there it is. Alright, so this one's got the uh, intake trunks, it's got the Bombay doors, Bombay missile bay, what do you want to call them? Now, looking at the missile bay doors, here they are, here's the, the middle one. There are some ejection pin marks there. If you can see them. Okay. They're all raised. That's actually not bad because you can easily remove, well, not easily, you should be able to remove them with a small chisel. The side doors, unfortunately, are sunken. Yeah, so they're sunken, so they're going to be a bit of a problem. And. I believe that's a side. I think I think I have to double check that. Um, yeah, because I want to have one of the side doors open. Again, on this side as well, they're, they're slightly sunken. Hmm, that's a shame. Uh, the tail pieces are here, and they don't look too bad. The tail, the sorry, the rudder. The rudder? Look, no, they're the tail planes. Yeah, the rudders are. Um, they're quite fine, they're not positionable at all. We've got the the back of the engine mounts, which you really don't see, those fans. They're okay, they're not very crisp, they're just okay. It looks like two-piece and two-piece intake trunks, but there's interesting, there's some hatching going on in there. I don't know if you can pick that up. There it is. So that's that looks good. We'll have to see how they get those two go together and try to get rid of that seam. And, aha, we have a pilot. Thank you, Academy. Why kids don't have pilots these days? Uh, I won't get into that again, but he's got an oxygen mask. He's got a pretty good helmet there that's one piece with a small seam line. The body itself is, it's okay. It'll pass with the canopy closed, but it's okay. But at least there's one in there, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so overall not too bad so far. I've got another uh, one more one more big sprue and one identical times two. This is sprue F. Again, there's the tab. Okay, so we got uh, wheel wells with some simulated pipes, raised pipes. We've got the compressor things, other parts, the wheel well doors. And the cockpit tub. Now let's look at the doors because I want all mine shut. Uh -huh. And that's why you want them shut because they've got bloody injection pins. Check the pin marks there. You know, why go to all the pain of filling these in, displaying them, and you don't see them anyway unless you pick the aircraft up. So close them up. And this kit, you can close them up, apparently. So let's see how, how that fits together. Um, okay, the cockpit tub. It's okay. It's down here. It's okay. You know, maybe some coloured photo which just to liven that up or something. But that's, yeah, that's just okay. I mean, if I was going for an open cockpit, I'd replace that. Uh, wheels. Sure, I should I say struts and so forth. Again, I don't care about those because I don't like doing planes wheels down. I use them for greebles for other stuff. Again, they look alright to me, but I might want to go for some metal ones. Uh, other parts, the seat, it's a little soft in detail. Um, we've got some small molded on seat belts there, but I'll, I'll get rid of those. And there's the side panel, the sides of the ejection seat. Again, I would probably consider replacing that. And the instrument panel is very, very clean. It's just multi, multi-function displays. So yeah, not bad. Okay, here's the, the big one here for the, the main Bombay doors. There's quite a bit of detail in there. That's not bad. You can really 
dress that up and give it a wash and some different coloured um, pipes and so forth and it'll come up alright. Um, so there shouldn't be any dramas with that. I'm not seeing any flash. I'm not seeing much of anything else. The sprue gate attachment so far makes sense. They're not huge, they're not tiny, but they're you know they they're good enough even for okay for the small parts. No, they're pretty good even for the uh, the throttle and so forth. No, that's okay. I mean you know average model should be able to sort that one out. And we got the the last sprue, which is C. Um, which is a duplicate, there's two of these. You just got your other little parts. You've got the AMRA missiles, AIM 120 missiles, which are mm, kind of okay, a bit soft. Uh, there goes my two year old having a tantrum upstairs. Um, the tail fins are a bit thick, you might want to replace those or thin them back. The, um, the side one, it looks alright actually, and that's what I'll be using. I'm gonna have that one firing off. It doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have a, an exhaust on it, so I have to drill that out. But it looks pretty good. It's got some raised detail and recess, so that's good. All the other parts look okay. Um, there's the inlet nozzles. Sorry, the uh, what am I saying? The exhausts. They're nice and crisp and sharp, as opposed to the Larry crap the rubbish kit. Sorry. And the wheels, yeah. Uh, and then what look like, yeah, they're the ejector mechanisms for the um, the ordnance for them to pop out. They look okay. Uh, having seen, I haven't seen the real thing in real life, having seen reference photos, they look a little bit clunky. Alright. And we've got some, some drop tanks. Why do you want to put drop tanks on a stealth fighter that's beautiful? I don't know. Some people like to do that. <laughs> okay. Let's do, leave that as a backdrop. Let's look at the decals. First thing you do when you open an academy kit and you look at the decals, what do you look for? Is it made by Cartograph? Yes. Because if it's not, what do you do? You throw them in the bloody bin. They're useless. Cartograph. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get a lot of markings on this one. Uh, lots of choices. So good, in fact, that I'm going to be using these. I've got the YF23 from Hobby Boss, which has got shit decals. It's got nothing, no choices in it, really. Um, so I'm going to use one of these sets for it, because I'm going to do it as an as a F23, as, as if it was, a, was selected. Um, some say it was the better aircraft. Hmm. Who knows? Stencils look really nice. The, um, they look pretty good. Let's take it out of the bag. It looks pretty reflective, doesn't it? Oh, there you go. You can see the reflection there. Um, they are a little bit glossy. A little bit thicker than what you really want. But everything looks in register, everything looks nice and nice and neat. Um, nice and colourful, even though it's going to be a boring grey aircraft. Uh, yeah, I mean it's cartograph, can't go wrong. Can you? Well, hopefully, hope, hope not. So that's, that's a good thing with um, Academy kits. Always watch for those cartograph little logo that's there. All right, speaking of decals, let's go to the layout and they give you a pull out painting and decal and parts sprue map layout. Um, which to be honest, I mean, do we really need all of this on two pages? I would rather have this A4 piece to be an A3 of the full store, so close you can get to scale, so you can really zoom in on. I mean, look at this, it's not, not even as big as I cover my hand with the, this layout. Um, and it's not in colour, so you know, that'd be nice too. Uh, but still, take your time, should be able to read that okay. We're not talking dragon level of instructions. Shows all the stencils and so forth. Doesn't look like there's as many stencils as you would normally find on a modern jet, so that's a good thing. Okay, the instructions themselves. Uh, we've got the Academy Wave doing their callouts with these upside down triangles with the numbers. They give you um, the guns, either aqueous or the uh, lacquer. Life color paints, Humbrol, and this other, I don't know what that is. Um, no Tamiya, so I prefer Tamiya paints. I do have some guns over there, but 
Um, yeah, it's good that they give you the full page call out. I might even photocopy that and put it to a side. So it's a pull out instruction sheet, which is which is good. Um, I find what I'm doing now is I'm putting this sheet over to this side of the bench with the camera on it. I have it on my screen in front of me. So let's look through it. Starts with the cockpit. Okay. And then you have to build up the main bomb bays, ordnance bays, put them in the fuselage. Um, and then the main uh, undercarriage is one unit. It's a box, which is interesting, with some good hefty locator pins. So I reckon if you use a little bit of slow goo, goo, <laughs> slow glue there to build that up, and then test fit it in there, uh, that should go well. That's pretty. That's interesting. So that should work okay. Here are those intakes. Um, there's going to be a seam. They give you looks like decals to put on the inside. That's interesting. So yeah, getting a, a nice gloss finish on that could be a problem. Uh, and then there's the other half going back to. See what that is, they're not full, it's not full, you don't get a full engine inside or anything, which is good, I mean, the trend I find in modern kits these days, hey, let's have a full engine and, you know, it looks beautiful and fantastic, but it gets hidden inside the aircraft and they don't even give you another set of nozzles, so you can display it outside. This one, they just, you know, you get to see the compressor fan, fans from the front and the exhaust from the rear and that's it. It works for me, I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going into, we're putting it together, cockpit goes in, so you've got to build the cockpit before you put these two together, which is kind of standard. Put all the surfaces on, you get the option of having the, the thrust vectoring nozzles open or a bit, bit closed. You also get the option of raised or lowered um, flaps. Again, why do you want to have lowered flaps is beyond me but there it is and here is the part that gets me excited is turn 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 they give the option to keep those wheel wells closed instead of open so we're not going to do the open get rid of that not going to worry about all that rubbish um i mean yeah it's going to look lovely wheels down don't get me wrong but you know look here's the option again there's the front now, I'm a bit worried about this one that, you know, where is that going to attach to? Is there an actual ledge there or something? Or am I going to have to fill that in with some sheet styrene for that part to just slot and sit there? Um, there's the tail hook. And then you've got the missile build up um, here. Again, they give you the option to have them extended out as if they were firing or closed. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm not sure the port or the starboard side, probably port. That's left, by the way. Left is port. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have the, the side one sticking out and just firing off. I don't know how I'm going to do that effect, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, so that's excellent. They give you the options. It looks fairly simple. It looks fairly well thought out about how to do it. I am a bit concerned about how the, the, the bay's doors actually fit to this ledge again. So I'll have a close look at that when we do a test build. Here are the AMRAMs, the AM, AM120s, longer range versions. Again, you can have them, they give you all different options to stack them, three, we can have these big GBU laser bombs, um, you can have it open or shut, and it looks like, yes, that's a separate part, so that is not one where you have to cut it in half, which is, you know, just stupid, it's a piece of bloody flat styrene, why would you cut it in half, just have two of them. Yes, I'm talking about you, Italeri. And then we're onto the external tanks. Um, which I'm not going to worry with, and then back to the cockpit doing the mechanism for the um, for the open canopy. You can have it open or shut. Of course, I'll have mine shut because it's going to be flying, and we've got a couple of little pieces left over. No, I didn't see any photo etch in there, so um, yeah, there was no markings to say do some photo etch. So um, yeah, that's it. So. I'm really excited about this kit, and I hope you are too. I think it looks like a great kit. It's good value too. I think mine costs 60 bucks Australian, which is, you know, $20 American or something like that. Um, so, yeah, let's end it there and go to the next part.